Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a new rune glitch in the game of Elden Ring. And the location that you want to go to is the same exact grace that I've talked about in like every single one of these videos. But we're going to be doing something different. Uh, you're going to be getting slightly more runes than the previous rune glitch I posted. Actually, the last video was a farm. This video is going to be a glitch, and how it's going to work is uh, you're going to spawn right here at this, uh, it's down in Mogwin's Palace. I'll leave two videos linked in the description showing you how to get here. Uh, one way involves an NPC quest, and the other way involves a, a non-NPC quest, but a lot more doing stuff in the game. If you get what I'm saying, you got to progress a lot more for that version. But essentially from the Grace, where the bird farm is, you're going to go down the hill past all the gray enemies, and then there's going to be these rocks over here to your left. You're just going to kind of jump on these and traverse over them and try to get to this big old pool of blood that is like, it's on the same like ground level as the bird, if you get what I'm saying. From there, just travel straight onward and just keep going straight until you see a tree and some other stuff right here. There's some good stuff you can pick up here as well if you haven't picked it up already. And you're going to do some parkour and try to land on a piece of a rock. You don't have to land on the, a piece of this rock, but it's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, there's like a, a wall down here that doesn't have collision, which means you can just walk straight through it. To get to that wall, we're going to jump on this rock down here. It's not all that hard to get to. And once you're down on this rock, just kind of jump down where you see me jump down, and you'll start falling through the map. Now, quickly start swinging your sword or pressing your light attack button, whatever case that may be. It could be left click on the PC, RB on the Xbox controller, and R1 on the PlayStation controller. And just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. You don't have to spam your button, just press it every second or so, like tap, tap, tap. You just want to be in the constant animation of swinging, because otherwise you will just die. I don't know why, but I guess like when your character's in an animation, whenever you're falling in certain spots, uh, you just don't immediately die. And you're just going to keep falling, and you'll have to fall for a good 45 seconds, maybe. And what's essentially going to happen on technical side is where the collision is up top, where all them enemies are, it's going to disappear. And they're not going to have anything to stand on anymore, so they're going to fall through the map as well. They're going to die from falling through the map, and you are not. So what's going to happen is when they all die, you're going to get all the soul, or runes, sorry. You're going to get all the runes from all of their bodies and any kind of drops that they might drop. Uh, you might get a drop or something the first time you do this, but after, you know, the first time you won't get anything. You'll just get the runes. And you should get close to 200,000 runes. Now this is me on a regular new game with only the gold scarab. I believe I got around 167,000. That's just an estimate. Uh, if I did nail it, then great. I recorded this yesterday, so I don't really remember exactly how many I got, but it is closer to 200,000 than it is to 100,000. The previous method that I did show, it was like 135k. This one you're going to be getting almost 170k. Now you will be getting like probably 180, 190, maybe even 200,000 if you eat a gold pickle foul foot on top of having a gold scarab. Uh, if you don't know what the gold scarab is, it's a talisman in this game that you can get. If you played any of the other Souls games, uh, it would be the equivalent to having a ring on. It works exactly like that, but in this game it's called a quote-unquote talisman. And the talisman to get more runes is called the gold scarab, and that's what we get. Just from the gold scarab, regular new game. This is not new game plus and we're getting around 170k runes, roughly. Another key thing to point out here, you'll get the big portion of runes, and then if you kind of chill for a second, like maybe 10 more seconds falling down and swinging, you'll maybe get another 10 to 15k more on top of that. Randomly, I don't exactly know why. Maybe it takes a little bit longer for a certain enemy to die. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. And if you have any type of questions, go ahead and comment them down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.